So we've got a really fun and quick freebie for you today. It's a flamingo card to coordinate with our latest Tropical Vibes bundle, which I have surrounding me in various places. Here is the uh, popular Pineapple Lantern, which is actually really cool. I'm loving the way that it came out. So if you're giving this as a gift to somebody and you also want to give them a card, this is exactly what you're looking for. So let's take a look at what I have here in front of me. Uh, it's very simple and I've already pretty much pieced it together because it's mostly just a, a very simple paper piecing sort of project. Uh, this is the base of the card and I've already folded it. I used my maker to do the solid score lines and there's a solid score line version in the uh, extras folder. So look for that if you want the solid score lines. But uh, it's really simple. And let's just dive right in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna begin by putting our, our main layer here and gluing it right into this little area that's already kind of cut out. Okay, so let's just get our glue on here and pop this into place. Now I was contemplating doing some inking on this, but then after kind of looking at it, it's pretty colorful and I almost like the clean look without the inking because there's so much going on. I didn't want to take away from it. Not that inking ever does that. I mean, it could potentially if you overdo it, but uh, I was kind of just happy with, whoops, how it was on its own after I put all the pieces on in place. Okay, so this piece is a little wobbly and I just want to just get it in place here. Just match it up with the actual cutout there and also just make sure that the little waves here are lining up with the very edge of the card. Okay, now you can see here that I may need to go in and add a little bit of glue to some of these areas because it was kind of it was kind of wobbly and almost kind of hard to get on there but actually that's not too bad. Let me grab a piece of scrap paper here. So if this does happen to you and you take a look and you've got a little piece here, you can see that that's kind of peeling off and just take a piece of scrap paper, throw a little bit of glue right on the very corner there and then just, just rub it right on there underneath, just kind of painting it on and then you can press and get that into place. Really simple little quick fix. Okay. Simple as that. Next, we're going to take this layer here and put that down. We've got a nice color for our flamingo here. Let's get our glue in place here. Definitely a great little project if you're new to Dreaming Tree and you're trying our files out for the first time because it gets you accustomed to all the processes of importing and cutting and selecting your papers and all that good stuff. And then I always say, if you can make one of our simple freebies, you can basically make anything on our site as long as you follow along and just craft with me. Okay, so that's in place. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put down our little legs here. Okay, let's do that. Just get a little bit of glue. This is a pretty thin piece. You don't need to cake the glue onto this. It doesn't need much to stay in place here. Okay. And get that in place. Just like that. There we go. Now we do have this little wing here. So we're gonna glue these two layers together and then we're actually gonna pop dot this to give this card a little bit of dimension just to give it a little extra something. Okay. And so we'll throw that right on there. Just make sure you get it nice and lined up. Okay, press that down. Got a little extra glue that popped out of there, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over <clears throat> and I've got, got some foam squares here. I'm gonna just use, probably just two is good enough. 
We'll just throw those right on there and try to spread them out as evenly as possible and peel off that backing. Okay. And then we'll take a look here. Just want to kind of match it up with the existing cutout. Like that is good. You can see how nice that looks with the dimension. Okay. And we've got a little beak. Let's throw some glue on the back of this guy. Even less glue is needed for this one. Okay. And just want to line that up right about there. There we go. That looks like, looks about right. I think that'll work. Okay. And then we have a little black piece for the tip of the beak. We'll get that in place. I'm just going to throw a couple little dots of glue on this since it's pretty small. Okay. And then just get that aligned with the very tip of its little beak there. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> and then we do have this little palm tree, just the corner of one that's going to go on the inside of the card, actually. So let's get our glue on that. Okay. And just pop that right in the corner. So I actually opened up the card. It's going on the inside corner here. So you've got plenty of room for your message or a stamp or journaling. And you can see how nice that looks. And uh, we're also going to use a, I've got a black rhinestone here. And there's my little rhinestone with a piece of cat hair on it. We're gonna use that for its eyeball. So what I typically do when I'm using rhinestones or little pearls is I'll throw a little bit of glue on a scrap piece of paper and with my pick-me-up tool, I'll just kind of dip it in there and then dip, a, I just kind of um, wipe some of it off so that it's not completely caked. Okay. And now you can see there's a little point here uh, just above it's where its beak starts. And we're going to put the eyeball just slightly above and to the left of that. We'll see how that looks. And we do have a, a moment to adjust it should we need to. And I think that looks pretty good. And then this flamingo is fancy and it's going to be wearing a little necklace. And I'm just using some pearls here and we're going to put the little necklace right on its neck there. Okay. And now um, these pearls that I have, they do have a sticky backing on them. I would still recommend that you glue this if you're going to give it to somebody so that the pearls don't come off. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm not overly concerned about it. I think this piece is just going to be hanging out in the studio. And if I do happen to find someone that I might gift this card to, I'll probably go back in and just pull these off and make them a little more permanent. So. And it is kind of hanging a little bit. It's not just, it's not a choke chain. So you want to give it a little bit of a dip. Okay. But that looks, looks about right. I think. Okay. So that's it for the card. And of course, with every card that we release, we do include a nice coordinating envelope, which we'll put together here. And it's made up of these two pieces. I've already pre-folded everything. Okay. And we've got this little piece here that we're going to put inside on the back to kind of make this little, this little sun motif pop through. And what we're going to do, we want to make sure that we put the glue on the actual flap and not on this um, cantaloupe colored piece, because if we do that, we may not know exactly where to place the glue so it doesn't pop through here. Okay. So get your glue on there. And then what I would probably do, is also throw a little bit of glue around just the perimeter of this so that, and hopefully, actually, you know, I might have messed that up, but we'll see. Yeah, we got a little bit of glue showing through. So you see what I mean? You see why I had you put glue on the flap and not on the cantaloupe colored piece because it's really hard to gauge where this line ends and where it begins. 
So if you do get a little bit of glue on this piece, it may show through, but I, I was able to salvage it, so it's not a problem. So once you get that flap on, you're just gonna fold these little tabs in and get your glue on the tabs here. Maybe a nice little thin line right out to the very edge. Same thing on the other side. Nice line of glue out to the edge. I'm gonna spread that nice and thin. Okay, and literally we just take it and fold it over right onto those tabs and just press and hold that down. Let that sit. And there's your little envelope ready for your flamingo. Give them a moment to set. And I always try to put this in here before the envelope is fully, fully set and sometimes it pulls off. So I may not do that, but yeah, let's just do it anyway. And you can see how nicely that fits right in there and is ready for your recipient. So real simple, real quick, uh, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, I think it took me about 10 to cut it out. So definitely a lot quicker than going to the store. Um, and you can put your own little spin on it if you'd like. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. That lets me know that you enjoy our products and enjoy crafting with me. And if you make this or any of the items from our new Tropical Vibes bundle, we'd love to see it. So join us in the official group on Facebook by heading over to your Facebook and in the search box, doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group, where you can join myself and the 13,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.